A lot of us are learning how to work from home right now. What's uh, what's your home like? Daddy, can you please play with me? My wife and I have lived in 10 different homes over the last 10 years, traveling, homeschooling a lot of the times, minimal childcare, the whole time running it, our businesses <laughs> from home. So here's our take on the essential work from home setup. Now, if you have kids, that's like a whole other thing, all right? It's like a whole other thing. We're gonna focus in this video on some of the gear and some of the essentials of setting up spaces in your house for you to get some actual focus work done. But obviously, if you have a family, you know that how the family rolls, your family formation, any rituals you got going on, any stuff that you have happening, that is gonna play a big role in how much time you get to yourself to actually to actually get some done. So I'll put a resource list below. Anything that I find that's helpful in that regard, I'll put it on that list. Okay, let's get into the gear. Now you don't have to go buy a bunch of stuff to be ready for whatever kind of work ends up coming your way, right? In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the desk, the sitting device, some ergonomic tools, as well as some software and tech upgrades for quicker stream entry and sort of more prolonged focus. But one thing you need to know about me is I care a great deal about the ergonomics of how we're working. If we're crunched over like this, this posture, the stress in our body is legitimate, is real. We're just getting used to it, right? And that stress ends up affecting the posture of your mind. You don't wanna make blood? So the body has a posture, the mind has a posture. We gotta be aware of how we're holding ourselves when we work. And the biggest upgrade on that for me is the standing desk. The fact that I can raise and lower this, I can leave this at standing, I can just like come in and get like five minutes and be ready to go just clicking away, right? But this actually has impacted my life. Don't get me wrong, you can put a desk up on a dining room table by the way, be careful on setting yourself up in central areas, you know? Sometimes you just need a hideaway, right? I ended up putting a Jarvis desk just in my garage space, and it's where I get a lot of my work done. In fact, if you watch some of my videos, you've seen a lot filmed there. Now, one thing about the standing desk is you're gonna want something kind of softer for your feet. Out in the garage, I use two rugs, and I find that it's perfect. We bought two of these and then Jarvis sent us another one. We put, I put that in the garage and had that's like my little, that's my area, but it's so remote from the family that I find that sometimes I got to work closer to them just because we're the hands off, handoffs and the, and the going in between, you know, we're all kind of bored right now, you guys. But we've used these for a long time and we've had no problems with them. In fact, I really like the one that has the, uh, just the up and down, the one downstairs I have, it has like, you can computerize. I don't think it's necessary at all. Just these two up and down buttons is great. And I do recommend going for ones with uh, like an actual wood top, like the bamboo one feels nicer on top than these white ones. And if you're gonna do a standing desk, I highly recommend getting some sort of desk riser. Down in the garage, I actually just put one together out of paint cans and like an old shamach. But I'll link below to like a desk riser that looks good if you wanna get something that's gonna last a lot longer. But another situation where you can just use something you have lying around and get creative with it. You're also gonna need some sort of power supply that works well for you. When power sucks, I hate it. You wanna be able to quickly get in and out. I like that these Jarvis desks actually have power built right into them. If you get the upgrade that has like, it's like a little cup thing that you put in there. That's been useful, but honestly, I end up needing more than just one plug. So I'll link below to any power supply resources that I think are like, these. if you're gonna spend a little money on something, get this. Because I want something that has USB-C with some fast charge capabilities, probably some USB-A plugs, as well as enough of just the standard AC outlets for me to plug in whatever it is I need to run. Now, I love this little stand right here. This is my roost stand. There's also one called the neck stand, which is like a knockoff version, which you can get for cheaper. But this folds up quite a bit smaller. It feels a little more quality. Then I need a keyboard and mouse setup, right? I'm just using what I had around for the last like decade. I love it. This setup I like so much because I can get cables and things back here. For instance, I'll oftentimes have my tech pouch right here and anytime I need it, I can get in, grab whatever I need, and then 
put this thing back and my desk remains clear, but I have everything that I need. So I like this guy for just how it helps me organize my desk, but most importantly, I like it for how it keeps my neck up. This is the posture right here. You want your arms down. You don't want to be reaching forward. You don't want to be leaning forward. I'll link to everything I'm talking about in the YouTube description, but what about these? What about post-it notes? These can be so useful. Post-it notes and some sort of small whiteboard or project board in the real world can really help you organize your ideas and your thoughts when things are going hectic and crazy. It's movable so you can move it from room to room if you need to. It's big enough so that you can, you know, you can really put on a lot of post-it notes, I guess. I'll talk to mom. I can't get you apple juice because we don't have any. You want to get stuff out of your head, right? You wanna get it out of your head and into something that you trust, right? This is the old GTD stuff. Get it out of your head and onto something that you trust. You're gonna see when you need it next. Because we all need as much help as we can get right now, right? So little post-it notes, just using stuff that you already have. It's amazing what you can get done. There's a lot of tips and tricks and tools and like thing like the fool's cap. Do you know what fool's cap is? It's a, it's a larger notepad. I lived and worked out of fool's cap alone for so long. Just because it's a little longer than a normal page, I love that. Links to that below. I'm excited to try out Jeff Sheldon's new index card productivity method that he's designed, which is probably gonna be gorgeous. I also recommend that you get some barefoot shoes or go barefoot as much as possible but have some shoes that are flat your heel is not elevated you can walk around outside if you need to that's one of the benefits of working from home is you can just kind of like take a break go outside like call a buddy and I like the barefoot shoes a lot I'm gonna link to below my vivos that I'm loving so much right now as well as any barefoot resource that I have I think living barefoot it grows the feet strength. Did I just say that as a sentence? It grows the feet strength? Now, another thing you should know about plants. Plants can feel like a buddy over time, as long as you're not killing them. But the texture, the movement of them over time, just the way they look, the irregular patterns, it's not straight lines, the green and the life, put that in your environment. I've got a link to some stuff below. We, we got these off of one of these web services we've been stoked with, actually. Essential oils and candles can be a huge upgrade to your environment. Why? Because your house stinks. Smell, literally, think about this for a second. You can have a smell and a memory comes back? How the hell does that work? It's invisible. The olfactory sense is magical. And this, like, little essential oil thing is the easiest way I've found to just pick, like, Oh, I want motivate or I want grounded and get the smell going on that actually smells good. It feels fresh in the space. That can make a big impact on that mind posture. They just, they work fine. You know what I mean? I've got one on doTERRA that I found that I actually really like, but I haven't got it yet because, you know, use what you got, links below. Let's talk about sound. Let's talk about isolating ourselves from the world so we can focus because you know our partner has the kids or we've just got time alone or we're just, we're really lonely and we don't wanna be reminded of that by the, by the silence of our environment. I've got three modes, okay? The one I'm using the most, my AirPods Pro. They do the Bluetooth noise canceling thing. There, there's no wires hanging out. The noise canceling is actually legit. It sounds fine. If you're in the Apple ecosystem, look no further if you're trying to get more productive, close out the world. But I also use these old Sennheiser PXC 550s, which are Bluetooth active noise canceling as well. They're fine, they're comfortable. Others are louder, but these are the ones that I have, right? I'll link below to the Bluetooth headphones I would be going with right now, the over ears and the wireless earbuds, if that's your thing. But the third mode is this. This is my Sonos Move, a little charging base station that it just sits right on top of. And this is where it lives in our, in our that's like how it lives in our, in our living room, right? We've got all the music we need in the background. I live on these playlists that are very mellow. I'll link to my playlists below. They make a difference. But then when it's time for me to go work somewhere else, I can just grab this, take this outside. Family picnic maybe, a little escape and actually have some, some music going. Though most of the time, it's just these. Hey, what's up? This is Editor Chase. Hope you're enjoying the video. Quick message from our sponsor. This episode is brought to us by making a video call to your <laughs> to your friends. Scott Erickson, where can people find your art right now? I'm 
at Scott the Painter on Instagram or scotterickson.art.com. Try making video calls to your friends every now and again. Turns out that technology was just sitting there waiting for the global collapse. The science works like this. You have a rectangular screen which connects you to each other's lives. Try making video calls with one of your friends, maybe someone you haven't talked to in a little while. Uh, we moved to Austin on Friday. Holy shit, already? The point is, in this time of chaotic global unrest, we may never see each other again. So try video calls. Okay. We've got another sponsor here too, Cups. Cups are what we put delicious liquids in for us to sip while we're working and ruminating. Try coffee in a cup. Or open packets like these from Four Sigmatic and just pour them in and just hope for the best because immunity. I don't know about you, but when I finish the workday, there's a ton of cups everywhere. Sometimes I use cups with my soda stream to make it bubbly. You can put a lot of things into cups is the point. And our thanks to cups for supporting this episode and to video phone calls because... You may never see each other again. Let's get back into the episode. Okay, let's talk about the chair situation. Let's talk about sitting. I need a break from standing. Standing really will fatigue your body. It's great because it keeps things active, right? But we do want to sit sometimes because sometimes you're having to do like lots of knowledge work, tons of focus, tons of energy. I don't want something that's causing a lot of stress to my lower back, right? And if I can, something that can keep me active. I like to keep an active obliques, the core, the this stuff, just gen just barely. It's like barely on. There's just some electricity running through the system. Jesse loves this chair. And Marco loves the Herman Miller stuff, which I've used myself and I love as well. But my new favorite, the one that I've used for probably at like a year now, and I'm not going anywhere, is the TikTok chair from Foley. Foley make these stand-up desks. That's their Jarvis desk. Those legs are super strong and powerful and they work like, it's legit. They're really good designers up at Foley. But this chair, it's nowhere near as much as a lot of the other chairs out there, but it is going to last so long. And it gives my hips and my lower back in perfect alignment. It tick-tocks from side to side if you want. It doesn't go forward to back, which is great because you can use that leverage to open up your hips, hips a little bit. Any of, you, any of you weird like body work people, you can actually <laughs> massage your... We have two of these now. They're really easy to pick up and move around, throw underneath the desk. They're just out of the way. There's nothing huge. So the, the, the thing sets up sideways. This is the one bummer. When you're setting it up, you gotta, you gotta just kind of Put it down like that because you want to be able to to tick tock from side to side not that i do this it's just that like i can jiggle my hips from side to side if i need to but again the important thing here is i've just got the little little bit of stuff active and then because it doesn't roll forwards to backwards like every ball does like a lot of other sort of chairs do what i can do is i can use that leverage to open up my hips a little bit more what that gets me is this Lower back gets to align itself a little bit more. Some of you are gonna be way too intense, like, oh my God, now my back is right. Just gentle, you just want a little bit. Over time, your whole posture can shift on this thing. My lungs are great, like everything's in a good position. My shoulders can be back a little bit and down. This is the chair, you guys. I don't know how many of you take seriously sitting, but this is the chair that I've fallen in love with. It's so easy to move around, it's easy to move with. It survives from place to place to place. The only reason why I'm talking about this so much is just because it's made a big difference in my life. The body starts getting better. You start improving. When you make little improvements, it gets better. They compound over time. And a chair like this has played an integral role in me staying healthy whilst working from home. This is all built so sturdy and strong and just a simple rocker means that you're moving. It's not like I'm sitting around like moving this thing back and forth. It's that I'm turning on my body when I'm sitting on it. I'm turning on that chain of muscles through my spine, on both sides of my spine, on the front and the back of my spine, just to keep me aligned. It's just a little bit of what they call active sitting, but you don't really notice it. It's very comfortable. They make a version that doesn't have the padding on the top if you're really a glutton for punishment. The padding is very minimal, but I find that it's great for taking those breaks. You don't wanna be sitting 
too long. You don't need to sit for all that long. That's why we've got these standing desks, right? Now, my wife really likes this chair, actually. It's not that expensive. I think we got it on Amazon. We've broken one of them. They're not very well made, but you can get by with it if you're, if you're not like, you know, rude to it. I don't like this because my legs are locked in. I can't quite get into the right spot. Like I have to really force myself up. It's just, it's just not aligned in the same way. So this, on the other hand, one challenge is just lining. See how the base turns? When I do that, you want the base to go sideways, right? So the tracks are running sideways. So when you come like this, you're ready to roll when your desk is down all the way. You're ready to roll. Hey, it's Editor Chase again. Listen, this video just keeps going and it's already long enough. So here's some summaries of some tools to use. The first is the webcam. You probably don't need to upgrade your webcam, but in case you do, if you're filming courses or doing stuff like that, I link below to a webcam that you can do that kind of stuff with, kind of. At least it's better than what's probably built in to your computer. But also a microphone that we've used for years and years. It's not that expensive. It has both a USB and an XLR. You get headphones straight out of it, it can be helpful when you're doing video conferences or maybe even recording courses or trainings or something like that. Now, two apps that are actually blowing my mind right now are Notion and Front. Notion is how I am keeping track of all of my projects right now. I switched over to that from Evernote recently. If you're curious about it, make a note in the comments below. Maybe I'll do a video on that, but I'm gonna link to Marie Poulin's stuff on this, a video. I'll find a video that talks about how you can use relational databases in Notion. Some of you just glazed over. <laughs> that's, that's fine. There are a couple gripes that I have, but for the most part, it can keep track of my entire life and it can grow with me. This is what this does so well. But the other app is Front. If you have a team at all, Front is an email tool you can use between teams. Most of you, this isn't going to be applicable to, but those of you who have a team, check out Front. I'll link to it below. Another couple interesting tricks. Number one, a shirt that's comfortable up top. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been wearing lounge pants like literally my jammies, my marine layer pants. I'll link to them below. You got to have a comfy pair of lounge pants. But also having a comfortable <laughs> like button up shirt. You could literally walk around the house in your underwear and everybody you're doing, you know, FaceTime calls with or <laughs> webcasts with they wouldn't know the difference. This one's from Western Rise and I really like it because it's merino and merino tends to not get as gunky to me. It doesn't get as gunky. Another little trick, by the way, is getting like a work shirt, something that's like a little bit thick. They're sometimes called a work shirt. This one's from Topo. I'll link to this. It's just thicker. I can put it on over anything and it's not so thick or so bulky that it gets in the way or that it feels hard to move in. I'm constantly going from, you know, in the garage working on my computer to going outside, throwing the Frisbee with my son, you know, petting someone else's dog. And then there's this idea of having like a, a house bag, like I use this daily carry bag. This is the brevity jumper because I'm using a uh, camera all the time. I'm constantly throwing that into here. My laptop, my iPad, my camera, and my spare hard drive, and my tech pouch, another good, I'll link to my tech, favorite tech pouches. I've fallen in love with having a tech pouch that has extra cables and dongles and things that I need for my Bluetooth headphones, all that stuff. Because you can have everything together. I'm always just throwing that into a bag and then it's my real mobile office. Whether I'm working upstairs, whether I'm working in the living room, whether I'm working while the kids are watching a movie or I'm working down here in the office or I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving with all the things that I need and maybe never coming back. And none of this stuff is sponsored. Like this video isn't sponsored. Nothing here is, <laughs> nobody paid me to talk about this stuff. I just like this stuff and you are bored on the internet and you wanna know what you should buy that's actually gonna, you know, not let you down because disappointing everyday goods are disappointing every day and you don't need much stuff to be ready for anything that comes your way. All right, I'll leave it there. I'm glad you watched this video. I hope you liked it. Sponsored by Cups. You know, shout out to Cups for sponsoring this video. Shout out to making a video call with your friends because honestly, connect with each other. You know, but, but then also don't turn your phone off and just get some work done. If you've learned anything about working from home, if there's any tips or tricks that you have, holler in the comments because I'd love to hear other ideas from people. I'd love for people to, be able to scroll through those comments and learn lots of different, you know, tips and tricks for working from home because we're all kind of in it 
right now. Hashtag coronavirus 2020. I don't know when you're watching this video. And maybe share this video with a friend who's working from home for the first time. Like it and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And other than that, I'll see you there. Or I'll see you on another time. Bye-bye, guys. See ya.